How are you, Trace? I'm well. How are you? I'm doing well, thank you. So tell me a little bit about what you'll be doing with PBS uh, National Memorial Day concert. Well, this year is different, of course. Uh, we're still doing the concert. There's still going to be a lot of new uh, performances. They're also going to take some of the best of from years past. They've been doing this show for 31 years now, so they're going to incorporate some of that. Um, but the readings and everything, all that stuff will be fresh and new. And for me, I went to DC a couple of weeks ago and got on top of a building downtown and had the Capitol Dome in the background. So I mean, it was a, an inspirational setting, but it was really surreal. I'd look down and there was literally nobody there. So it, it was the strangest trip to DC I ever took, but um, the show must go on as they say, and hopefully um, it will achieve again, uh, what we try to do with this show every year, which is focus people. And, and this year, especially, I think perhaps it will put things in perspective for some folks, you know, uh, yeah, we're going through really, really tough times, but it pales in comparison to some of the trials that we've been through in our past. And, uh, I mean, all the world wars and everything, I mean, uh, there have been some tough times that we've that we've um, persevered and come through, and this too shall pass. You know, absolutely. And you know, you make a great point. You know, some of us might be complaining about having to put a mask on, you know, to go get Applebee's or whatever. But but you have you know men and women who gave their lives and went through real hell to you know keep our our country safe. Yeah. Literally millions of men got on troop transports and went overseas and their wives had to go into the factories where they worked and take over their jobs. And they had rationed out food and gasoline. And I mean, I mean, the, and the Great Depression. I mean, it was a terrible time in mm -hmm. this country's history. And that's that's what's in our DNA. That's who we are. And that's what's going to enable us to breeze through this thing and get through it and get on the other side and look back and go, wow, we may have overreacted just a little bit. <laughs> right. Right. So are you going to be performing a, a song? Yeah. Yeah. I did a couple of songs. Um, if the sun comes up and, and I did uh, still a soldier. So I did those two songs standing on top of this building, like I said, with the Capitol in the background and, it was cool. We did it with the skeleton crew I and mean, everybody took precautions. And so we did things the right way, but, uh, um, still, you know, we wanted to get the performance done. This is my fifth time to do this show. And it's always been, this is, a, this is, I do a lot of kind of festival things throughout the year, every year where I might sit on the bus and not go out and watch all the opening acts and everything. But in this, when I do this show, I don't hardly leave the stage. I'm off and I'm off on the wing watching what's going on because it's just an incredibly moving experience to be part of this concert every year. And, um, you know, this year is going to be different, but uh, hopefully we'll achieve uh, the same goal and, and help people focus and help them to remember that this is a very, very important, if not the most important holiday that we observe, because if it weren't for this one, probably wouldn't even be able to celebrate all the rest of them. Amen. And, and what does Memorial Day mean to you? Exactly that. It's a time when we should reflect and, and pay tribute to, and just take a moment to stop and not take for granted everything that, that we enjoy, the freedoms that we enjoy in this country. And remember that somebody paid the price for us to be able to have all this. And uh, that's, that's, what, that's what this holiday means to me, is just to slow down for a minute and um, just remember that uh, a lot of good men and women paid the ultimate price for us to be able to live this 
beautiful life that we have. I love that, Trace. What what can we expect next from you? You've been doing not only music, but you you know you released your book and and movies and television. What what's next in the Trace Adkins world? Well, hopefully we'll get to do shows again this year. I don't know when that's going to happen. I feel confident that at some point, you know, they'll uh, they'll let us out of the shoot and we'll get to do it again. But um, I got a couple of movies that I've done that are in the can. I don't know when they're going to come out either, but. Uh, but we're, we're, we're still in the studio recording stuff. I'm going to have an EP come out later this year. And then, you know, hopefully next year we'll have another album come out. I still enjoy going in the studio and, uh, get a kick out of that being in there with some of the greatest musicians in the world, which is the pool that we have to draw from here in Nashville. So, uh, I still like doing it. So as long as anybody cares and anybody wants to hear it, I'll keep, I'll keep doing it. I don't think you're going to have a problem with anybody uh, not wanting to hear it. That's for sure. Any kind of insight into what kind of EP and album we can expect? Is it going to be like your your the classic Trace sound? Uh, well, if there is a classic Trace sound, I don't <laughs> know. Uh, but um, just going back in and doing stuff that means something to me, you know, and hopefully uh, other people will be able to relate to it. I mean, that's 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 what uh, that's what our mission statement is uh, you know um I, I remember one time i was talking to rodney carrington and he said you know it's a beautiful thing to be in a place in your life and in your career where when you're presented with opportunities the only question that you ask is will that be something fun to do and if the answer to that question is yes you do it it doesn't matter about the money or where it is or whatever and that's where I'm at. And I still have fun performing and recording and writing and, you know, acting. I just I have fun doing it. So, you know, that's what I'm going to keep doing. Awesome. And we'll keep consuming it. So keep it coming. Trace Adkins, thank you so much for speaking with me. I'm really looking forward to PBS National Memorial Day concert. Capital Concerts always does such a top-notch job. You're always a highlight of the show, so I'm looking forward to seeing what you have in store this year. Thank you. Well, I'll be there. All right. Hope everybody tunes in. Thanks. Thank you, sir.